हेलो हेलो विशाल कैन यू हेयर मी हेलो हेलो हाँ कैन यू हेयर मी हेलो हेलो Sir, your voice is very low. Actually, uh, my uh, I have checked with my volume set settings, and I have, you know, volume dipped up, but still I'm not getting your voice. It's very low. Uh, I'm doing it on my cell phone. If you want, I can do it. Uh, now can you hear me? Yeah, but it is very low. I mean, very, very low. I cannot even uh, understand. I will be not able to understand like what, whatever you will be. Hello. I, mean, I, I am. I, I mean, uh, my my microphone and everything is working quite fine. I mean, I I've just taken the lecture in the morning. Hmm. Okay. Hello. Yeah. Let me uh, try connecting my Bluetooth. Uh, in let me check it that okay. way. Just okay. give me a moment. Okay, fine. Hello. Yeah. Can you hear me now? Yeah. N yeah. Yeah. Now it's a damn perfect. Okay. Fine. I can hear you now. <laughs> okay. Fine. So, uh, can you just tell me that what is the things that are pending from my end? Yeah, like actually, uh, let me check in my WhatsApp. I'm sending. So we have done uh, affiliate marketing. Okay. Uh huh. Affiliate marketing, marketing. We have done two, three lectures, I believe. Two lectures. And uh, yeah, two or maybe three lectures. Then we have done email marketing. Okay. Which is on 14th of March 2020. Right. And email marketing lectures. I mean, it's 4th of March 2020. Okay. Then it's uh, 29th of uh, February. Affiliate marketing. WordPress. Okay. Uh, right to commerce and then we have done google analytics on uh, 7th of march saturday okay. uh -huh. and we have done google search console on 22nd of february okay uh -huh. this is what i have which we have done and uh, like uh, i was told like uh, i'll be getting done google ad adwords google analytics Content writing, web masters. See, I'll, I'll and just see. And email marketing, web masters. Can can mm -hmm. you just can you just uh, see this screen on my uh, on my screen? Can you see my screen? Yeah. Me... Yeah. See yeah. over here, yeah. the first lecture that we what we had done was search engine optimization, mm -hmm. in which I had uh, mm -hmm. we had learned WordPress and I had given you and Devanshu both the logins also were provided. So I yeah, mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. So WordPress is already done with search engine optimization because without WordPress, search engine optimization cannot be done. So WordPress and mm -hmm. search engine optimization are done. Then we are done Google Trends. Mm -hmm. Then Google Alerts. Mm -hmm. Google My Business we have done. Mm -hmm. Google AdWords we have done. Mm -hmm. Facebook Ads we have done. Mm -hmm. Google Search Console mm -hmm. we have done. Affiliate marketing mm -hmm. we have done. Google Analytics mm -hmm. we have done. Email marketing we have mm -hmm. done. And YouTube marketing we are mm. doing. So as per yeah, my, YouTube marketing is also done. Yeah. So now as per uh, this uh, schedule, say uh, mobile marketing is uh, what is pending from my end. Apart mm. from this, if you remember, okay. any, uh, apart from this, if you remember anything which is pending, then uh, I can uh, mm -hmm. definitely take it for you. 
Okay, no problem, sir. I'll just yeah. go through it uh, within this two to three days, and I'll make sure whatever I have mentioned in the. Uh, I mean, I have take it in a writing, and uh, I'll just uh, study on it. And whichever ID password which we have provided, I've already made a website, and I have already sent the link like what all things I have done it, done in it. But still, I'll just make sure once again I'll do it and I'll show it to you. If there is something which you can teach me along with that, then it will be very helpful. Uh, I don't think uh, that website would be running now because it's more than seven to eight months. Uh, so because the training mm -hmm. website is valid only for six months. So if you want, I can mm -hmm. give you a new login and uh, I can you can create a new website for practice if you want. Mm -hmm. But as such, you have already no done it, uh, so it's not a problem. Uh, and uh, say mm -hmm. content writing what we uh, you are talking about we had done the content writing when we were preparing the blogs in the wordpress website mm -hmm. so that how to prepare the content mm -hmm. that was the first day yes uh, yeah, so yeah yeah in that uh, mm -hmm. we had learned how to do the google keyword planner and how to use that and then how to use google trends mm -hmm. and alerts for keyword research and mm -hmm. do uh, all the search yes. engine optimization and write then write content into wordpress with help of yoast seo which was the the plugin that we had installed so that was uh, mm -hmm. all, uh, so as per the content that you are telling me uh, we have uh, everything covered over here so i mean uh, as per my information okay. over here see only mobile marketing was done and this this file mm -hmm. I, I will just show you see uh, on uh, see over here mm -hmm. you can see this is 14th of march uh, when we had our last lecture this file was created mm -hmm. on that day and on that day we were discussing what are the things that is pending and on that day we were mm -hmm. doing youtube marketing and this email marketing so now so mm -hmm. i had told uh, at that time i had told that we have one lecture remaining that is mobile mm -hmm. marketing and after that uh, lockdown started mm -hmm. so i mean uh, only mobile mm -hmm. marketing was pending so that is what is there so i mean if uh, still if you feel okay. that uh, you want any other session to be covered i don't mind covering anything okay no sir you have been very helpful but uh, what was the situation over there after this pandemic like when there was a lockdown so ma'am asked me not to coordinate with you because she is the one who is you know uh, the main concern to be speaking with you in regards to my that, uh, lectures and all that's so, absolutely fine that, that's... i was ready you know you you messaged me uh, and i was ready i was ready to uh, do the set up but I, i was ready to finish at the uh, at least but you know mm -hmm. she told me not to coordinate. You. so i kept it that way and now uh, if you are telling me like i was not worried about the like what is been pending and what has been already taught she asked me like what has been taught up till now you just text me also i just uh, send it to her then she said like i'll be doing with the offline lectures so she told me yeah. that to explain you that you please speak to her so that is the reason yeah. otherwise i was No, I was willing see, to do. No. I mean, I mean that is abs <laughs> absolutely. See, that is absolutely fine with me. No problem. See, I I just mm. need to. I just need to cooperate. That what if anything is pending from my end, then definitely it's my duty to cover everything. So that was the only reason I was contacting you. And say when when we uh, started started with the last lecture. See, I had completed for Devanshu at that time also. Like I had informed ma'am that uh, we are covering uh, one lecture is. pending so i would be covering that online so i mean i had taken the permission so i mean <laughs> so it's nothing like that so I, <laughs> so no no problem, no problem. at all uh, yeah yeah so i mean that's absolutely fine so what we will yeah. do is we will cover mobile marketing and uh, see you can you yeah. can also revise everything and uh, you can just tell me if yeah. uh, you want any other session also to be covered then i will definitely help you in that so not a problem at all from my end Okay. okay thank you so yeah. much okay fine yeah. so fine so let's start <coughs> with mobile marketing but just at the end just give me with any login id or password which i can so, uh, show you i can you know uh, start doing projects and all so that i can apply for a you know in digital marketing field so that's what uh, i just needed from yeah yeah see i'll just create it uh, right now for you mm -hmm. i will create uh, a wordpress login for you Uh, so that is what you require right yes okay so i'll just create a login for you in my control panel mm -hmm. <laughs>
okay so oh. it is installed and uh, this is your login details i'll just send it to you okay mm. okay so this is your website url and this is the admin url with username and password oh, oh, oh. okay so yeah. i'll just give it to you over here in the chat you can copy it and save it in your notepad okay Okay, so now you can work on this whenever you want. Okay. 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 Yes, uh -huh. it's working fine. Yeah. Okay, fine, no problem. Yeah. Yeah, I've copied it. Yeah. Okay. You have also suggested we make uh, one uh, YouTuber. Uh, he was uh, explaining all about that was like Hindu Dev Tut, right? So with the help of uh, that, I can Hindu Dev Tut tutorials. Uh -huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So I can use that, right? Uh, and then uh, with the help of uh, those all website which I have which he have created to understand completely. Uh, I mean, how WordPress is working about the content. Yes, yes, yes. So yeah, yeah, that all can be used. Okay, so I'll do with the help of that only. In Hindu Dev, or else if you can suggest me anything uh, along with that, uh, wherein I can go through it, and I'll just start doing it from today onwards. Okay, fine. I'll send you all the links uh, in WhatsApp. Okay. So for WordPress and uh, any other thing, what all important links are there? You can I will forward you the study material. Uh -huh. yeah. So so this link what I have, so I just need to click on this link. Like WordPress has been successful, successfully uh, installed, so I'm doing it in my laptop right now. So I clicked on on that. See, see this is this url which is highlighted this is your website url which you can keep it open in one window and this is the url with which you can uh, able to log into your admin panel so with this where you can add all the posts and pages and you can add new themes and you can activate plugins and all those things can be done from this url okay wherein it says slash wordpress admin so okay. this is the admin url okay. yeah so i mean this you can do so i mean that's fine let me just check it just give me a second sir please yeah yeah sure mm -hmm. I have logged into that uh, another uh, URL. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I got my dashboard. Okay. So, so, so now, uh, now yeah. there you can add all the posts and uh, pages and all those things. Here. So, okay. post is only which is required wherein uh, say Yoast SEO is also I have installed over there you just need to activate and uh, I have also installed a theme that theme also you just need to install activate it so then uh, you can start to add the content okay sir I, I'll do it okay thank you so much for okay so now today what we are starting is uh, uh, say introduction to mobile marketing uh, wherein we learn everything about mobile marketing and uh, at the end uh, we will also learn how to develop an android app where you can create your own android app uh, and uh, use it for marketing so how can you use it for marketing because uh, you can create your own uh, say android app with all the content that you want to promote it and uh, then you can share it with the world and uh, if you want you can take the membership of play store which is just costing 25 dollars lifetime and uh, then you can upload uh, any number of apps on uh, play store and uh, then you can share your play store link uh, 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 online and uh, then uh, everybody will download the app say like i have my my app also online 
wherein uh, people can download and uh, they can install it so uh, like this uh, you can also create the app mm -hmm. yeah so over here you can see my app is coming up so wow. this is my app and uh, like this uh, we can create the app so this is how we can uh, create and then we can optimize the content and everything so this is all optimized content wherein we have done SEO on it and then we have added it because I had mentioned that uh, we have to do search engine optimization on any content that we are uploading anywhere mm -hmm. whether it is social media or whether it is uh, say play store app store wherever we want to we have to optimize the content yeah. so on the website as well as on play store also we will uh, be this or uh, we'll do optimization and then we will upload the content over here so that when people will search for the app then at that point of time our app should come up in the search results so that is what uh, we can do so I mean search engine uh, opt optimization is something really very good I mean see I'll just give you an example over here say I just go to Google and add add my keyword say like uh, 21 days unlocking series so this 21 days unlocking series you can just see my video is there on the top first position is my video over here and uh, say if uh, we go to uh, YouTube and uh, YouTube also I search for uh, the same keyword over here mm -hmm. then you can see my video is there on the first position over here mm -hmm. uh, then it is not just Google or YouTube I mean you can just uh, search in any search engine worldwide and my video is there on the first uh, result you can see this over here I have three videos coming up at the first position so this is what we have so then uh, Yahoo is also there so Yahoo in videos uh, Yahoo say you can see my video is at the first position so like this I mean uh, search engine optimization is really very helpful so say so all this uh, is coming up just with the help of uh, uh, this uh, sure. search engine optimization so like this we can uh, we can do search engine optimization and get our content to the top so like this uh, we have to uh, write uh, our uh, search engine optimized content in play store also so that this is this we can do it so that's fine so now coming back to this so what are the things that we are going to learn in mobile marketing the first of all what we are going to see is what is mobile marketing why mobile marketing is important who uses mobile marketing how has mobile marketing evolved and what does future of mobile marketing look like so this is all something that we are going to learn over here so as we know that mobile marketing is marketing that occurs over mobile devices and targeted at uh, mobile users so whatever marketing we do on the mobile devices or for the mobile device and which is targeted at all the mobile users that is called as mobile marketing and uh, it leverages mobile devices to communicate and engage with consumers at any point in customer life cycle and uh, drive brand value and demand for your products and services so this is what we have so in this what happens that you can directly communicate and engage with the consumers at any point of time because see mobile device is the only device in the world that we, they carry uh, all the time uh, with yourself uh, and uh, it is nothing like uh, say uh, Vishal, can you please mu mute your microphone because uh, okay. say there is lot of disturbance. Okay, sir. Okay. So, yeah. So I mean, over here you can directly uh, say uh, contact all the people uh, on the mobile device because everybody is using mobile device. And uh, like I said, that mobile device is the only thing that uh, people carry with them all the time. I mean, people do not keep their mobile devices at home and they say that chalo aaj picture dekhne jaate and mobile ghar pe rakhe jaate. I mean, it doesn't happen. People carry it with them all the time. So it is very easy to target mobile users at any point of time and uh, you can target global audience over here so that is really very good option and uh, say like it's universal so i mean it's a universal type of marketing 
wherein it takes many forms and applies to all kinds of businesses and markets so it it is uh, universal in the sense that it can be used for any type of businesses wherein uh, say they can market their products and services that they have and uh, they ca you can use a lot of types of uh, marketing forms on mobile devices and you can reach all the people so that is what we have over here and uh, say like mobile marketing unlocks powerful opportunities for marketers on a scale never seen before uh, previously uh, people were not using mobile devices so it was very difficult to say uh, do advertising and uh, say people were using traditional advertising but now since the mobiles have come up uh, so then it is really very powerful opportunities because everybody is carrying a mobile device and uh, whenever you send any uh, message or notification or say any important information to the people they will immediately check it whether it is email marketing or SMS marketing which uh, you send it on uh, uh, say this device at that point of time people can directly uh, check the device on their mobile device I mean you don't need to wait to go home and then check it on your desktop or laptop so this is like they can check it at any point of time so that is a very powerful opportunity for marketers and uh, you can engage any audiences and uh, through any communication channels that are available I mean you can send an email also so uh, people can even send SMS also or say people can send ads also so I mean even if you are using any apps say like uh, the common apps can be like uh, say mm, uh, people are using are say like uh, OLX quicker then uh, mm, this Google Maps people are using WhatsApp people are using Facebook Instagram these are all uh, say mm, apps now out of this uh, say Facebook Instagram then uh, mm, uh, this uh, uh, OLX quicker these all are having ads so see over here also say if I just show you my app also then in that case also you can see it will it is mentioned that uh, contains ads okay see when I click on this you will see over here see contains ads so I mean I can display ads on my mobile device wherein uh, say uh, people can uh, people will see various advertisement on my mobile device so that is uh, what we are talking about here that you can reach a larger audience uh, and it's uh, in a way that is more personalized and in real time so you don't need to wait people can check it immediately and uh, if we talk about why mobile marketing is important then if we see at the worldwide data and shipments of the devices then over here the PC market is quite less than tablets is quite high and uh, over here mobile is uh, too high I mean this is the highest mobile, so ma I mean, mobile so that is the reason is really very highest yes mobile, yeah. this is the shipment of devices so I mean shipment so this many number of uh, devices were shipped uh, so this is uh, very important so people are not buying desktops and laptops so much but uh, people are buying mobile devices in bulk yeah, because see, is if there is one I mean most of the people are using cell phones so it's a uh, very very cute yeah and yeah that's what yes uh -huh. Yeah, b because see, if there is one PC or one laptop, then it can be used uh, by everybody in the same house. Now, if there are five people, you don't require five desktops in the house. I mean, one desktop is enough. Uh, or say, laptop is also okay. But I mean, if you're talking about mobile device, I mean, then everybody will yes. have their own uh, mobile phones. So that is the reason mobile device is more important and the shipment is more and if we talk about the mobile uh, uh, the pages that people are browsing from different uh, countries or continents over here then we can see Asia, Africa, Oceania these all countries are say where the number of pages uh, are quite high and every year 14 percent is increasing and this is uh, rising rapidly at 25 percent of the total web usage so it's more uh, people are using more uh, of mobile device browsing of websites and everything on mobile device that is rising at 25 percent every year and uh, this is uh, if we calculate the usage then total web usage versus 14 percent year over year so every year it is increasing by 14 percent so i mean this 25 percent then 14 percent is increase so this is the reason uh, why mobile marketing is more important now if we talk about uh, who is who is using mobile marketing so i mean uh, if i ask you that are you using mobile marketing then uh, what will you say uh 
like uh, if if you're asking me like i'm using mobile marketing hmm yes in a way like uh, for earning i'm not using but i'm a mobile user so that's what i can say yes i mean everybody uses mobile marketing uh, directly or indirectly so knowingly or unknowingly i'll tell you how see whenever you get a good message on whatsapp what do you do you forward it to your friends or say groups or a very wherever you want but uh, you are promoting the content of the original creator who has created that content right so i mean uh, indirectly you are promoting the content of that other person so i mean that is unknowingly because yeah, just because you yeah, like the content uh, yeah yes so that is uh, that is the way we are doing mobile marketing for other people so yes we we are, we all are using mobile marketing in a way so now if we talk about the how mobile marketing has evolved then if we talk there are various uh, say devices that have come up so in 2001 uh, there was a launch of blockberry that is a research in motion and uh, that had ability to send email on the mobile device uh, so i mean in in 2001 it was something very big that uh, first time ever uh, people were able to use uh, emails on blackberry so i mean that was considered as a business phone and uh, it was said that if a person is using blackberry then he is a very big man something like that so that was uh, in 2001 then in 2005 we have seen windows desktop user experience the joy of using using windows os in mobile devices so then microsoft launched uh, windows mobile uh, devices with windows operating system so that was uh, really very big that was in 2005 and then uh, various uh, versions came up say like windows mobile 5 6 7 now say windows 8 is also there and windows 10 is also there on mobile device so i mean people are using all those things so this is what we have so even i am using windows mobile 5 so i have one phone which is there you know, which i had b- bought long time back then uh, in 2007 iphone came that changed the way everything i mean uh, it changed everything that uh, people could think of because first time ever people came to know that we can install apps in uh, mobile device and uh, that was something uh, people were mad about and that changed the whole revolution it was a revolution in uh, when iphone came up oh. uh, that because they can uh, use anything and everything on mobile devices so they can install anything whatever they want so that was they uh, saw with the launch of iphone and uh, then again after 8 years uh, say like on september 23 2008 uh, there was another uh, revolution uh, that occurred and uh, that revolution was uh, say the launch of uh, t-mobile g1 announced uh, on september 23 2008 uh, that was launch of android on this day android was launched and uh, initially it was developed by android incorporation which google bought in 2005 and uh, two years they worked on android they made a lot of changes and then they uh, launched it in 2007 and uh, if we talk about the total number of apps available in play store then it is more than 7.25 millions uh, of apps as of february 2019 so if we talk about today it might have crossed more than 8 million apps uh, this is what we have because thousands of new apps are being uploaded every day on play store and uh, say uh, app store the our figures are quite less it could be around uh, 4 million apps because uh, it is paid Uh, everything is paid over there uh, in uh, if you take a membership of uh, google play store then it is just costing 25 dollars for lifetime but if you want to have a uh, apple app store membership then it is costing 99 dollars per year so you have to pay whether you uh, whether you are uh, using or uh, whether you are not using you have to pay the fees uh, or else your account will close and your app will uh, be deleted so this is the reason say play store gained a lot of uh, say uh, users they got attracted and they got lot of visitors on uh, play store and that's how android became famous because it was uh, absolutely free of cost that is the reason and uh, if we talk about google play protect so now when you install any app uh, it will say that scanning with google play protect and uh, say it is scanning 
say more than 2 billion devices uh, and it is probably the widely used malware scanner in the world it is one of the biggest uh, scanner in the world because uh, there are uh, so many uh, installations every month over here if you see uh, google sees about 9.6 billion installs per month across the world so you can just imagine how many apps it is scanning every single month this is what we have with android and uh, then uh, say mm, lots of things came up and then uh, say whatever we are seeing it's uh, just the tip of the iceberg uh, and uh, still still yet uh, many things uh, are yet to come so if we think that uh, whatever we have today is more than enough like uh, say uh, in olden days uh, we were using infrared to transfer the files then uh, in today uh, people are using bluetooth or wi-fi sharing and all those uh, things are happening then we can use mobile devices for controlling various devices like set of boxes and uh, uh, acs and any other electrical items uh, we can control so i mean we, we see that okay various things are available and a uh, lot of things are there which is coming up daily so i mean we can we just think that what new things can come up but actually it's not like that whatever we are seeing is just the tip of the iceberg the whole iceberg is below the sea so that is yet to come out so there are m many things uh, which will be coming up in near future and in coming future so uh, we just have to wait and watch that what new things can come up uh, in future that mobile devices can do so if we talk about the different types of uh, mobile devices then we had early ages phones then devices with some extra features then devices with internet and emails then different types of uh, smartphones tablets phablets and e-readers and uh, which had various uh, shapes sizes software hardware capabilities these were the different types of uh, devices that we had uh, uh, from time to time when it launched and then uh, say if we talk about uh, say few mobile products and services can you name a few mobile products and services mobile products and services yes like uh, which can be used uh, yes like like how what kind of uh, products for mobile uh anything that you can use in the mobile devices the products which are uh, used uh, and uh, say made for uh, mobile devices like bluetooth uh, uh, earphones charger uh not the hardware thing see like over here if we talk about then there are various things like say sms is there email yeah. is there online messenger is yeah. there mobile there apps is there yeah, we, uh, lot yeah. of things so, share messages you can do a lot of uh, yeah so there are yeah th there are various things then proximity advertising that is google maps that we are talking about so i mean there are various uh, different types of products available and uh, there can be a lot of uh, mobile advertising in the form of mobile uh, wireless phones and other mobile devices so there can be a lot of advertising which can be done through all these platforms that are available uh, as a mobile products and services and uh, if we talk about the mobile advertising and search then um, uh there we how we will promote uh, through mobile devices of course we will be doing advertising like uh, say uh, we can do advertising on mobile device with the help of uh, say facebook as well as google ads in google ads we had the option for promoting it on mobile devices and in facebook also we have the option to promote it on instagram so like this uh, i mean uh, we can put our ads everywhere and uh, if we talk about the different kinds of ads that we can use so they are text ads banner ads display ads overlay ads full screen ads video ads animated gif ads so there are various kinds of ads that are available and uh, that can be used uh, on mobile devices so these are the different ads that we can use and uh, where mobile ads can appear uh, within the apps on the mobile phones and tablets so they they can be text ads image ads app promotion ads so ads which are promoting the apps so image app promotion ads and video app promotion ads so basically we are promoting the apps why are we promoting the apps uh, say i mean in mobile marketing promoting an app is the most important thing because through an app only you can promote a lot of things because say if you have if you develop an app wherein you are promoting some of your products and services in your app 
and uh, then you don't need to promote your products and services then you need to promote your app because your app contains all the products and services which you want to sell to people so first people should know about the app and then uh, once they install the app they will get to know all the inf uh, other important uh, products and services that you are offering and then we can have true yeah. for app promotion ads so this is uh, different types of ads that we can have for uh, mobile devices and uh, then uh, say there are, there is innovative advertising innovative advertisement is something like call only ads so nowadays whenever we uh, call anybody then uh, say we get a message of corona precautions and uh, taking care of uh, by government so i mean that is all call only ads and then uh, sometimes we get calls and uh, we pick up the phone and it's a automated message uh, promoting some products or insurance or health policy or something like that so those are call only ads and then we have mobile screen rentals see we we, uh, we might have heard that we can give uh, say a house on rent or office on rent we get vehicles on rent nowadays everything is available on rent i mean all home appliances and electrical items everything is available on rent but uh, did you ever imagine that you can even uh, rent your mobile screen so i mean this is something new you can rent your mobile screen it is your screen so i mean you don't need to give your screen to anybody but uh, they will be putting some ads on your mobile screen with which you will be making money so these are the two apps which i was using in past so now they have just made it for us so i had to uninstall it and with these apps i i could have withdrawn the money then i can uh, recharge my set top box and uh, i mean there are there were various options which uh, we could use so now in this mobile screen rentals what uh, what uh, on which screen they will be putting the ad the screen which is not used at all so i mean you you will say that uh, say all the screens that i'm using so all the apps i'm using then which screen is not useful can you just guess any of the screen which you are not using on your mobile screen uh, which screen i'm not using i mean uh, we are using everything yeah. like oh, whatsapp everything yes yeah. right everything you are using everything. are are you are you using lock screen lock screen what is that lock screen i mean when you see if uh, your uh, phone is protected i mean you need to enter uh, say the pattern or uh, password or pin number to open your phone yes. password protected phone yes. so that is the screen when your device or else even if you don't have any password to open the phone you just need to slide right so yes. that your phone will open that is the feature of the android so yes. i mean uh, that is called as lo lock screen mm -hmm. so that lock screen uh, lock screen your ads will come up instead of your lock screen the ads will come up and oh. uh, every time you open your uh, every time you open your uh, phone you will be making some money every time you will see some different types of ads coming up over there so that is called I mean, as we mobile can screen right this way okay yeah so this all uh, things were possible so with these two apps were there so now they have made it only for us mm -hmm. so i mean of course there would be many such apps available we just need to search them so these okay. two i have already used and uh, i have already uh, done a lot of recharges with these two apps so, so now we so cannot use these two apps right good. now we cannot use uh, it right, only right, for us uh, right yeah so i mean yeah so this app is uh, currently only for us this app uh, they have removed uh, from play store i don't know something went wrong with them and uh, yeah. now it is not there so i mean i i've just checked few days back uh, so i mean uh, the app was not there so okay. if, even if i'm checking it again just let me check f l i k k mm, no this app is uh, not there on uh, play store mm -hmm. mm, f l i k k Mm, flick app mm, no that app is uh, gone from uh, the play store so i mean that was remote long time back okay. uh, previously it was there and uh, it used to uh, give us uh, screen savers and uh, say like uh, background uh, uh, phone screen background home screen background so every day you can download new uh, screens and they were really very good 
so okay. now it is not available so like this uh, th there is a lot of innovative advertisement and uh, say in this uh, paytune say this app what happens say paytune is there this is still available in india and uh, okay. this you can use in this what app in this what happens is that whenever you get a call uh, it will be replaced by your default ringtone and uh, uh, ad will play so everybody can hear that ad so that is really very beneficial i mean if uh, uh, if uh, any other type of advertisement is something only the person who is seeing the ad only that person can see the ad yeah. but over here it is something different when when you get a call uh, say it will ring and it instead of that ring it will play an advertisement it can be anything like icici lombard or lic policy or it can it could be anything yeah. uh, for builders ad or india bull something like that yeah. so that is it so in a particular day it could be say approximately say four to five ads allotted to you okay. so after five ads uh, automatically it will switch to your default ringtone so like this uh, it uh, works so this is this app was there so i met these people uh, in yeah. one of the seminars in mumbai okay. and uh, over there uh, it was a seminar for all innovative products for mobile devices so that uh, over there i met these people so these people are from delhi so this is uh, still available uh, then uh, i mean over here we have uh, various other things that we can do like uh, say <coughs> whenever we send an sms to people say like uh, then emails and sms is really very good because uh, say you get a notification uh, for emails uh, on the notification bar that you have got an email and uh, but uh, sms i mean it's really very good because uh, say whenever you see your home screen the sms app is on the home screen so and uh, over there it will be written like if you get four sms then you will see four in a circle above the top right hand side of the sms icon correct <clears throat> so that will um, uh, say let people uh, click on it immediately they'll say that okay who has sent these messages Uh, so as ninety six percent of the messages are open within four minutes. As soon as you receive a message, people will open it. So this is uh, SMS and uh, email is really very good. I mean, if you nowadays even if you do email marketing, then uh, say people will open it uh, on uh, mobile devices. So nowadays sending email is a fruitful item and uh, it's a very good uh, method of uh, promoting uh, our products and services. and of course by sending sms also it's really very good uh, because nowadays people uh, also check sms sms of course uh, that is still there because see sms is uh, something very important <clears throat> if we talk about uh, say today's messengers that we are using there are various messengers say like whatsapp we are using but still then uh, why people are uh, manufacturers android or say all the device manufacturers are still using sms as the feature in the phone why they haven't removed sms because uh, because sms is yeah yeah tell me because there is like lot of uh, confidential things related to your bank and all you get an sms yes uh, sms is the, your identity uh see other messengers can be used over the internet but sms is something which is connected to your uh, say phone number so to verify your identity if they send you an sms that can be sent only on uh, uh, say your sms because uh, okay. it will come only on your phone and it will not go to any other person okay. but uh, if we talk about whatsapp then i mean you can use uh, say multiple uh, logins uh, and uh, people can use uh, whatsapp on various devices so i mean it can be a threat uh, so people are not sending messages uh, over uh, S all the messages over whatsapp and everything so governments and banks still use uh, sms for identification so that is very important and uh, say sms subscription is difficult but rewarding i mean no one will subscribe to sms i mean if you put an email subscription then at least you will get an email that is uh, people will subscribe to your email subscription but no one will subscribe for sms subscription because they receive a lot of spam sms every single day so that is the reason uh, people do not uh, get sms subscription but if you get then uh, it's really very rewarding because 96% of the people are opening within just 4 minutes so that is the reason uh, it is very important and then if we talk about advertising then say incentives and loyalty programs can unlock the potential of mobile marketing 
like say nowadays people are look always looking out for some uh, coupon code or anything for various apps so you might be ordering some uh, say pizza or anything then over there if you put some code uh, coupon code then you might get some discount so this uh, loyalty and incentive programs are really very good now if you are promoting any of your app you have developed one app and if you are promoting some app then in that case uh, why will people uh, download your app so people might say that there are already various apps are available why will i download your app what is the better thing so that is the reason if you uh, integrate uh, incentives and loyalty programs then uh, people will think that okay fine we can earn money from this so this is really very good <coughs> wherein uh, you can engage people and uh, uh, always uh, let them come uh, back to your app and uh, they can use your app get discount coupons or something like that that uh, every time you use your app you will be getting some daily reward points and uh, for using more of uh, our app uh, for watching videos or looking at the ads or something like that uh, uh, and uh, view browsing our uh, uh, blogs on the mobile device then uh, say you will uh, get more reward points and those reward points can be converted to cash so that is what is happening say that is the reason uh, say people are making various apps and games and uh, everything games apps are very popular because they have lots of advertising and people are making a lot of money with uh, those games uh, so that is really very engaging so that is incentive programs wherein uh, people make money and it's a win-win situation for both of them the user users or uh, and uh, the developers both of them so that is what we have so if we use incentive and loyalty programs uh, in our uh, apps or say in our uh, program then it will create a direct impact that uh, where people will see the uh, their benefit and uh, say demographically people will come back to you and uh, you will have more audiences uh, for your uh, app so that is what we have then uh, say like uh, we had seen uh, say google adwords and facebook ads so here there are certain platforms that are available uh, wherein say if you want to if you have very very big budget then in that case you can uh, directly promote your apps through all these websites and uh, you ca they will target uh, only for m mobile devices and they specialize in mobile devices so if you just talk about the mobile advertising platforms then uh, if you search on google then uh, you will find n number of uh, platforms are available wherein you can promote your mobile apps so see over here there are various options available uh, this is mobile marketing platform that is for mobile apps uh, then over here apps flyer is there then mobile advertising platform is there and over here you can see there are various uh, platforms available uh, which you can see seven best mobile ad platforms for digital marketers so these are really very good uh, places where you can promote so you can go beyond installs with customers for like so what they will help you for they will help you to install get more installations for your app once it is uploaded on play store so this is what they do and uh, say i mean you will get your app will get popular uh, immediately so these are all the brands see like flipkart Ghana, so you, Rebo, uh, Vodafone, landmark so yeah. you might be also using some of these uh, app to i mean uh, to promote your your, no. your app right no i uh, no i don't use all these uh, say i use uh, say if i want to promote my app then i use google ads so in google ads we had seen uh, we had uh, in google as well as facebook both the places we had app promotion ads yeah. so we had done that app promotion ad yeah. so that app promotion ad is something what i'm using okay. so that is a good option but uh, in any which ways uh, 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 I mean uh, say my app is uh, related only to the blog mm -hmm. so it's fine I mean uh, uh, there is no need for promotions because say uh, people like to read the blogs and uh, say I kept on changing the app a lot of times mm -hmm. so I mean there are only 150 installations till now there I don't have more installations but still I mean it's okay people are reading blogs and uh, they automatically get push notifications whenever a new blog is published so that is the reason people keep coming back to the phone so whatever they whatever we have at that time we are promoting it and uh, for the apps in the ads and 
and uh, say social media platform i am promoting i am giving the download links to all the people okay. so that's how i am promoting so that is organic marketing i am doing okay so mm -hmm. i mean that can be done so plus i mean uh, say these are the platforms wherein if you want to do paid advertisement but uh, this is something wherein uh, say if uh, you have very good uh, budget then we can do see over here we have google ads so this is the best uh, platform that we can use for promoting our apps then facebook instagram is the second option then i mean there are various uh, options available uh, so i mean people can use all these but uh, these things are uh, quite costly compared to uh, say facebook and instagram are really best and cost effective so if you want to promote apps then you can do it with uh, facebook uh, and then if you want you can also do it to, uh, with uh, google ads also so that is a good option then over here also we have uh, some of the best uh, mobile ad platforms for digital marketers wherein they can uh, promote see over here also you have google search ads and uh, facebook ads is there instagram is there then mobile in app ads are there so like this you can use various platforms then over here techopedia is there so i mean uh, people can use a lot of things so you can use uh, these type of ads that are available where people can install so over here you will have a button called as install so people can click that and they can install the ads so that is what uh, we can use so this is something really very good wherein uh, we can uh, say if the company has a good budget then they can uh, promote it uh, worldwide and uh, these are various platforms available so that is a good option and uh, if we talk about the benefits uh, of uh, mobile marketing then i mean it's uh, really very big because today's market has uh, grown to two, more than 2 billion uh, and uh, it is growing day by day so all the businesses now are thinking to go on this platform initially people did not think that uh, uh, we should go on mobile devices because uh, businesses and corporate houses just thought that okay i mean this is for kids i mean why why people will uh, have business on mobile devices they did they did not think about it but now once they know that okay google facebook instagram and all giants are there in mobile advertising so now they got to know so now each and every businesses are thinking to leverage this platform and uh, uh, take the opportunity and uh, get uh, good benefits out of it and uh, it is of course a very cost effective uh, means of marketing wherein you can promote your company's products and services compared to other uh, uh, things that we use for uh, advertising like uh, print advertising or newspaper or television ads or radio ads those are all very costly ads so i mean uh, that all things we cannot uh, use and uh, of course uh, say if uh, we are using mobile marketing then uh, say we can build a customer base wherein uh, say people can uh, engage with our ads or app or anything that we are promoting and uh, yes once we get a customer database then we can uh, keep on marketing with them and uh, we can introduce some loyalty marketing uh, so that customer will keep coming back wherein we can give them some offers or rewards or discount deals and something like that so this is something really very good which we can use and uh, say over here yeah, people will pay more attention to mobile marketing when there is an ad uh, on mobile then it is really very good it's very attractive so people will pay more attention to this uh, when it is promoted on mobile platform and uh, there is no barrier for location and time because uh, whenever you do mobile marketing or any type of marketing of course uh, when we talk about digital marketing especially mobile marketing uh, there is no uh, barrier of time and location now when we talk about location because say uh, people are carrying the mobile devices uh, with them all the time so whether they are traveling or uh, say whether they are going in bus train everywhere people are engaged on their devices so that is the reason we do not have any barrier for time and location so this is the one of the biggest factor uh, for using mobile devices and uh, people will uh, use this and uh, because customers uh, accompany the devices everywhere they are so this is what uh, we can see and we can see a broad spectrum of uh, advertising which can be leveraged on this platform so this is uh, what we have over here 
and then uh, if we talk about the mobile marketing strategies so i mean there are various strategies that can be implemented but uh, that of course uh, will depend on uh, say different companies what type of strategies you have because no two company can have identical uh, strategies and that cannot work for anything whether i mean it can be uh, just to promote your business or just help what is important to your business whether it is uh, product branding or a current goal or customer acquisition or lead generation a priority task so it can be anything so for that reason uh, say the strategies need to be uh, very straight uh, you need to know uh, beforehand then you should uh, research on uh, say how mobile marketing is done in your industry so if you are in a particular industry then you should know that okay fine how uh, our industry does uh, mobile marketing who are the people who are doing mobile marketing what they are using how they are doing what type of ads they are doing that all things we should know we should gather all the data and uh, study case papers white papers that all things we should use then we should uh, study all the research uh, analysis reports that all things and then you do a comparative analysis by surfing their websites press releases online campaigns everything and then you can come on a conclusion that what is the best for us because see we can learn from other people's mistake if uh, somebody has done any mistake then it is not necessary that we also do the same mistake we can learn from them and uh, then we can use that okay fine they have when they uh, uh, fell down or whenever they found uh, these all issues they have worked like this so then uh, you will learn from them and you will get new experiences so this is how we have various uh, strategies that you can do wherein you can identify your target audiences and their choices uh, will help you to take better decision and develop successful marketing campaign because see if you know that what your audiences uh, are looking for and what is their choices then that will help you to take very good decision and make a successful marketing campaign you can uh, prepare a detailed list of potential customers and uh, give them actual names and identities conduct uh, online surveys emails and emails to customers understand what questions they have create customer persona by visualizing special uh, specific attributes like such as their age profession task and they perform so like i mean uh, so for different ages you have different uh, kind of things so i mean it uh, the same thing cannot work for all ages so demographics is very important uh, related to their age gender and everything so that all things you need to take care then of course you need to take care of the questions they might have uh, because uh, there could be different questions from different people so those all things are really very important so basically in short you just need to have uh, each and everything uh, carried out uh, in uh, first only whatever things that you have you just need to note down everything uh, uh, beforehand uh, wh whenever you are starting any campaign so that is what we have and uh, say over here if we talk about uh, say the incentives and loyalty programs then we need to have various incentives and loyalty programs wherein which you can implement in your mobile phones and that people can see and uh, they keep coming back to your uh, uh, app so you will get b more engagement on your apps and uh, people will keep coming back and uh, i mean you can have various uh, loyalty programs so now i mean over here what all things that we have is uh, say there are various uh, examples like apna bazar big bazar then payback points then there are various websites wherein if you want to introduce a payback program or say loyalty program but you do not have any loyalty program of your own then you can tie up with various people over here this website is there perksloyalty.com so you can tie up with these people and there are various other uh, people who are ready to advertise and uh, th you can use their platform to introduce loyalty program in your apps or websites uh, that you want so this is what you can do and over here if we talk about uh, this i'm not sure whether this blog is working today or not but uh, still let me just copy this and just uh, see whether it is working or not so there could be various uh, loyalty programs available so yes it is working so we can see over here top 20 loyalty reward apps for small businesses so this over here we can see 
uh, some options provide high value product or services excel at customer service reward long term buyers so these are the services that uh, these people are providing and uh, you can tie up with them so yes i mean these all things are there see these all are various companies uh, that we have linkable networks level up then uh, front flip five stars uh, then open table then uh, spend go uh, then spring rewards uh, belly so like this uh, we have various companies which we with which we can tie up say linkable networks so like this i mean everybody is using uh, different types of uh, rewards so i mean you just can study uh, with this uh, you can study what are the things that they are offering and how they are doing so then you will get to know that okay fine it can be done because just introducing a loyalty program uh, could be very difficult because uh, say uh, without understanding that how this product will work uh, then uh, that should not be uh, the case so you can study uh, all the different types of uh, loyalty programs that are available on different websites and then you can use them and uh, then you can see that what works the best for you so that is what we have so let me just check this website also so the previous website was giving information about the different types of uh, loyalty programs and over here just let me see what this website has to offer so over here what we have is uh, uh, okay it's opening okay so over here it's how perks works benefits pricing white label loyalty so this is the website wherein you can have your own loyalty program customized and developed and these people will provide all the platform and backend of your uh, say loyalty programs wherein say you can tie up with them you can start and uh, you can see set up your loyalty scheme in three easy steps uh, set up your lo own loyalty scheme in just five minutes so i mean nowadays it does not take a lot of time just five minutes uh, whatever you want uh, you can just uh, have all the things and uh, there are various features say easy setup like personalize your scheme choose your reward and their work choose uh, the stamps uh, stamp scheme then ability to edit and manage then customer tracking so this is all the analytical thing that uh, they are providing like google analytics they have their own system wherein they can track their customers who have been online or checked in how long they have checked in then what is the reward uh, reward given to them and what is allowed uh, them to redeem and allows you to address customer by their name that all things and extensive statistics uh, like google analytics you get all the information over here so i mean there are various things which you can use so if you do not want uh, to program your whole uh, mm, uh, uh, loyalty program then you can just tie up with this website and then you can use it and over here they have certain pricing also so pricing so of course i mean this is a uk based website so the pricing is in pounds so that is too costly for us so i mean we can look out for some other options in india also so there there definitely would be uh, many websites so i mean since this is one of the website the then uh, definitely there are various websites available as well see over here it's uh, say one pound per day so one pound would be approximately say 90 hundred rupees per day so that would be say approximately uh, just imagine how yeah, much very it costly. Would be 30 30 thousand yeah it's quite costly so i mean we just need to search for uh, indian websites wherein with which we can tie up so of course i mean uh, there definitely would be various options uh, and uh, say like uh, affiliate marketing we can introduce affiliate marketing in our app and we can use it and uh, people will get the products and discounted rate and you will earn uh, commission uh, for uh, whatever they purchase so again it is a benefit for uh, so all the purchasers or the visitors on our app and uh, say uh, it will be benefit for us also so that we can uh, say make money out of uh, the visitors who are purchasing from our app so that is what uh, we can do and over here say there are various mobile marketing and social media marketing is available wherein we can uh, various rule based uh, things are there uh, every day and uh, say routine exercises that we need to take care of and uh, 
like taking advantage of this many businesses are promoting their products and services using social media as a channel so i mean when we talk about uh, using social media in the channel and uh, in mobile marketing then it's very easy because all the social media networks are people uh, what they are using are through mobile devices so if we talk about mobile social media marketing so i mean what is the difference between social media marketing and mobile social media marketing so technique of marketing via social media on mobile devices that is the only difference so, i mean it's the same thing but uh, marketing on the mobile but devices we need some but device uh, for, uh, for doing social media marketing yeah i mean so no, here course, see media, media, but still you know, everyone is like you know, mobile friendly so mobile Best yes. Way. So, right, <clears throat> right. So that is the only reason. Say like uh, instead of using any other marketing in social media, we should just think of that uh, which platform will provide us the best possible results uh, for social media marketing. So I mean, uh, yeah. nowadays people are. Mm-hmm. yeah so people are using uh, say facebook and instagram on mobile device so i would suggest that okay fine we can use uh, facebook and instagram ads and we can reach people on mobile devices so people will get a very good engagement so i was just see, looking at the file so this is the file which i just downloaded today this is 11 29 uh 11 29 so yes i think uh, this is the file Uh, wherein uh, i was just promoting uh, this uh, facebook lead generation ads for mobile devices okay so this is the old one uh, yeah so wherein uh, say i got 3 uh, leads today so i mean uh, say even out of 3 leads even if one person is converting then i mean i would be overcoming all the cost and uh, i would be making some good profits so promoting on mobile devices more uh, better option wherein say people are nowadays integrating uh, say i mean uh, using facebook and instagram on their mobile devices rather than using it on the desktop or laptops on big screens so that is what uh, we can use and uh, how does mobile social media marketing work so we can create a great mobile social media policy by using following like amaze your customers with actually catchy headings images and punch lines and uh, use visuals like pictures and videos then engage social media users through the mobile app so this two things which we have already learnt in uh, while creating ads in facebook and google and instagram but uh, this is something for mobile marketing which we need to know that uh, we can engage uh, people uh, in your app so for the most important thing is using a mobile app that is uh, very important uh, for us wherein uh, you can uh, take a lot of benefits so here there are some benefits uh, that are mentioned so i mean this is uh, say i mean we already know what are the benefits uh, that are available for using mobile devices like uh, say we get larger uh, customer base it is convenient for people and uh, we can uh, customers can get a feel of personal touch and uh, wider reach so you can reach wider range of audiences uh, remotely also and a higher extent of exposure so i mean this is all what we already know so this is uh, the same thing like we can get quick response well defined strategies real time actions so because nowadays we are using whatsapp so now whatsapp is also integrated with facebook so people can directly send message on whatsapp so we don't need to add the person in the contact first and then send message you directly just click on whatsapp button contact the person and uh, you, you directly the uh, window will open and you can directly chat with that person on mobile devices so you can get very good uh, quick responses and uh, real time actions is quite possible when you are doing it through mobile devices so that is what we have so i mean uh, this is explaining the mobile marketing ecosystems uh, wherein it is easy to convenient uh, conveniently contact uh, and engage with customers with uh, simple messaging and uh, intelligent interactive ad messages so ad messages of course we know how to use ad messages so now if we talk about uh, what is the difference between a mobile app and uh, a mobile website so i mean it is one and the same thing but uh, the only difference is that uh, 
website uses browsers and app uses operating system but actually the end result is same so that is the only difference uh, when we talk responsive websites and mobile apps works almost the same way except the way it functions that's it so like website uses browsers and app uses operating systems so if you have a good website uh, then you don't re uh, require to create an uh, uh, android app because uh, say mm, uh, uh, if your website is responsive then uh, say nowadays we are using wordpress and all those things so various content management system which are already uh, responsive so if you just select a good theme uh, for on uh, say wordpress then uh, automatically your website uh, will become responsive and uh, which can be used on mobile devices and uh, all the menus will automatically uh, become to hamburger menu so that all automatic changes will happen because it is a responsive theme so currently also the theme which I have installed in your mobile device is also a responsive theme and uh, that is a mobile friendly theme so even if you open it in mobile devices you don't need to scroll left and right for viewing the website so everything is good over there so this is the only difference so I mean uh, you can even convert uh, uh, your website into a mobile app in just two minutes so you don't need to develop the same thing again and again so that can be just developed in two minutes so that is what uh, we have and uh, we just need to take care of few things like uh, design your app for multiple devices and platforms so of course uh, say when we talk about uh, promoting our apps uh, it is not just android or ios i mean we can we should try to see that what people are using the most so in today's date android is cover say 80 percent of the people are using android and uh, remaining say seven percent uh, seven to eight percent is used by apple and uh, the remaining 13 percent is uh, say by all other uh, operating system so right now so we are concentrating only on android uh, of course i mean uh, for doing ios you need to know a lot of things so that is a bit difficult and of course it's very costly as well even the softwares which are available for developing the xcode for uh, ios that's a uh, paid paid software which is costing uh, thousands of dollars so that's again very costly so these are the things that you need to take care of and uh, say we can use mobile email marketing so wherein you can uh, create uh, you can get more subscribers on mobile device so in email marketing whatever we had learned so when we are sending those emails so those emails will be used by uh, people on the devices so we should just make sure that whenever we are using mobile email marketing at that point of time whenever we are creating templates in uh, uh, email marketing uh, we should just make sure that they are responsive that it will be looking good in all the devices uh, of different sizes so that uh, they are re responsive and people will have uh, people can see the emails properly on their devices so that is what we need to see and uh, if we talk about the mobile technology and reach uh, then it is something like uh, say we have seen 3, 2G, 3G, 4G mobiles are available today and uh, users can do a lot of things on their smartphones just by sending a voicemail uh, and uh, sending as SMS so I mean just then these two things people can do a lot of things so if we talk like uh, say they can browse the web check the weather read a book accounting tasks presentations carry music and videos uh, find the way with uh, GPS and much more I mean the, you can do a lot of things with mobile uh, uh, mobile devices I mean you can do calculations I mean you don't require a calculator everything is there you don't require alarm uh, because uh, you can set alarm in your device uh, then uh, you don't need, uh, require a television because nowadays live television can be seen on mobile devices you don't require a radio because all FM channels are there on uh, mobile devices that all things I mean there are various things that you can do I mean uh, mobile devices have replaced uh, and uh, crashed various industries uh, who are selling all those products but uh, mobile devices have changed the whole thing so it is a, a big revolution that has occurred 
and then of course uh, there are certain policies uh, that we need to take care of uh, when we are using mobile marketing it is not that okay fine I'll j I can just promote uh, anything and everything uh, we need to follow certain uh, policies that are uh, maintained by telecommunication uh, regulatory authority of India that is TRI we need to follow their rules and regulations so we should maintain the uh, consumers policy uh, consumers privacy and uh, say uh, which is uh, necessary when we are running a marketing campaign and uh, it is not uh, it is not suggested uh, say like undesirable communication nobody will like undesirable communication so like if uh, there are many spam sms that i'm getting then uh, i mean that is annoying thing we don't want all those things so don't uh, send uh, spamming on mobile devices otherwise people will block you forever and then never you will be able to promote your products or services to that person so that is the only thing that we need to take care of and uh, mobile content should be as original and unique uh, and uh, you should uh, ensure the rewards use uh, right policies and ch channels for marketing so these are the things that you should take care of and then you should be you you should take care of like uh, say uh, you need to define a predefined goal wherein that uh, you need to plan what you want to achieve make your goals measurable realist uh, realistic uh, timely and quantifiable then research the market decide the medium you will be using then identify your target audience phrase your message track and analyze and optimize identity so these are the common things that we need to know like uh, see this is something which we had learned in google analytics wherein what is the goal that we want and who are the target audiences what are we promoting and what are the content that we were writing while we were creating the ad so that is all the things that uh, is very important so this is what we need to take care of and uh, if we talk about the measurement and analytics then uh, in a survey which was carried out by google on 5000 plus users see 89 percent uses smartphones throughout the day so you can just imagine that 89 percent of the people are using smartphones every day and out of those 89 people you can just see that 89 percent of the people stay connected i mean they are connected to internet all the time 24 hours a day and uh, out of them say 82 percent research and read news 75 percent use for navigation 65 percent for entertainment uh, 45 percent for managing and planning 70 percent uses mobile devices to make a purchase so this is very important point 70 percent uses the mobile devices to make a purchase and uh, say 82 percent uh, of people notice the ad on the mobile device out of which 42 percent go ahead and click on the ad so i mean if you are having mobile ads on your device then it's nothing uh, better than that because people are going to click on it 42 percent of the people click on the ads yeah. so out of 100 people if you are getting on your device then uh, say 42 people will be clicking on the ads so if you get uh, say so many people clicking on your ads then i mean it's a really good good option that you can use and uh, you can market your uh, promotion uh, promote your apps you can uh, promote your products and services through the apps and uh, of course if you are selling something in the um, mobile app then nothing uh, better than that because 70 percent uses the mobile device to make a purchase so this good of course uh, the product is also important what you are using what you are not using that is very important so you should measure user recordings say like i mean what is their behavior and uh, uh, what they are doing online say like what we had learned in google analytics uh, everything about their uh, behavior and interest and uh, what they are using at what time they are coming on the website those all things we have studied in google analytics so this is what uh, it means like measure the user recordings what they are doing on google app uh, google our uh, mobile app you should check the heat maps that give you breakdown of the user's action so basically what uh, what pages of the apps they are doing uh, uh, going through then which uh, pages they are browsing the most uh, from which pages they are entering which pages they are exiting that of course uh, all those things can be tracked when we use uh, uh, google analytics uh, in uh, mobile apps but of course uh, for all those things we need to know how to develop an android app uh, i mean professional android app development because we ourselves cannot uh, say in the 
this uh, what I I said that I will be teaching you to develop an Android app, but that is not through the programming. But what we are talking about over here is the, say the professional thing which uh, say professionals can do, the developers can do by integrating various codes. And over here, what I will be teaching you is without any piece of code wherein you can do everything online without uh, any programming or uh, coding so that is uh, everything like uh, you are creating a wordpress website uh, with the help of admin dashboard the same way you will be creating uh, your android app it is that easy yeah. so that is and what we are thing, like uh, same way like about. we are doing with the website same way you will be teaching without coding uh, like uh, how we yes. can make the app yes okay. right right so that is what we have and then over here there are various say like we had learned google analytics uh, for mobile marketing there are various other options also wherein uh, these all tools can also be used to measure mobile analytics uh, some of them are paid and uh, some of them are free uh, and uh, some of them are also having some free trials also available but uh, say mostly everybody uses google analytics because it is from google and people trust uh, these all uh, very much google analytics is the best used and uh, of course web trends is also very good i have used this this was corporate and uh, say when i was working uh, in uh, the company say around uh, 12 years back at that point of time i had used this and uh, this is very uh, costly i mean it is they are charging three thousand dollars per month for using this so but of course if the company's turnover is big then they can think of using this because three thousand dollars is uh, too much amount uh, and that also monthly amount so that's a very huge amount so it's better we use google analytics only first of all it is free and it provides uh, all the reports that we require and it provides more than the reports that we require so i mean that is one of the best thing that uh, we have over here so then uh, say we have uh, location and mobile see location is very important when we talk about uh, say mobile devices wherein you are using uh, location based services so what is meant by location based services so location based services is like uh, lbs uh, which uses real time geo data from mobile devices or smartphones to provide information entertainment or security and uh, some services allow consumers to check in restaurants coffee shops stores concerts and other places or events so like this uh, uh, lbs is used by say facebook wherein you can check in at different places uh, which are available geographically near you so that is a check in feature which is available in facebook which they are using so they are using location based system and uh, over here uh, there are some steps that are provided that how you can turn the location uh, based services on so over here you have uh, you can find google then you can just find settings and in that place uh, you can scroll down to setting app scroll down and tap google and uh, tap location google uh, location history for uh, account you want to change and then turn location history on or off for your accounts and devices so in your settings you just need to select location then you select google and then you select location history and uh, then you can turn it on or off uh, so that will be activated so whenever you travel uh, you will get to know that okay today i have traveled at all these places so it will be recorded and it will be saved in your mobile devices so at any point of time if uh, anybody asks that uh, uh, two years back on this day at this time where were you then you can just open your uh, google map and uh, check your timeline and you can tell them exactly at what time where you were say even if you are traveling then you can tell them whether you are traveling in a bus train or bike or car or whatever it was say you can tell them exactly uh, all the details if you use this service so this is really very good to keep yourself safe and prove that on this day you were over here at this point of time so this is really very good which you can use for your safety so then what does google location service use so how does this location based services use so they will be tracking various device ids wi-fi routers and uh, different places uh, of your devices where you are traveling so various companies like apple and microsoft use similar services for their devices 
then we have GPS and AGPS in mobile devices so what is GPS and AGPS so GPS we all know that it's a global positioning system and uh, say AGPS is assisted global positioning system so I mean there is not much difference in it it's just the naming convention that we are using over here so this is the system which is that is signify significantly improves the startup performance uh, that is time to first fix of a GPS satellite based uh, positioning system so this is what we have wherein uh, say uh, there are various satellites available wherein you are connected to them and it tracks your location so that is GPS and uh, what does LBS in GPS mean so LBS stands for location based services and it is a services which is done with the help of GPS or assisted GPS for example requesting the nearest business services such as ATM or restaurants so say when you are using GPS in that GPS you can uh, you can activate GPS and then you can search for the say like I can search for nearest ATM uh, near me or say uh, restaurants near me or uh, schools near me or colleges near me or anything like that so all the near me questions can be answered when you activate uh, the GPS and then use LBS in that so that is what uh, we can use so there are various apps like apps uh, called as nearby apps you can install and then you can see and uh, if we talk about uh, what uh, is GPS and GLONASS so GLONASS is acronym so that is a name which stands for uh, say this Russian satellite uh, and uh, it's a global navigational system GLONASS in Russian version so this is a, a satellite which is uh, developed by Russia and uh, say like GPS which we are uh, using in our mobile devices so either you will have GPS or else you will have GLONASS so these both are universal these both are global uh, so any mobile device can use a GPS or else GLONASS so even if you get a GLONASS uh, it is equivalent to GPS uh, in our, any Android or App Store uh, uh, app, uh, Apple device so it's these both are international standards so it can be anything and uh, if we talk about GPS then it's global positioning system and uh, it means that it is a constellation of approximately 30 well space satellites uh, that orbit the earth so constellation means a group of uh, satellites group when we call it uh, we can also call it as bundle or group or uh, say together multiple uh, things coming together so it's constellation of approximately 30 well space satellites that are orbiting the earth and uh, that makes people to connect uh, with you and the ground receivers so ground receivers is your mobile device and uh, the transmitter is the satellite to which you are connected when you are using GPS so that is what we have and the location accuracy that you can get is uh, anywhere from uh, 100 to 10 meters uh, uh, so whenever you zoom the map at that time uh, you can see maximum 10 meters so that is the nearest accuracy level that you can get with the help of GPS so that is what we have and uh, over here let's see which countries have their own GPS so global positioning system GPS is owned by United States and GLONASS is owned by Russia so these two are global and then uh, about to our global right and then China is expanding its regional Beidou navigational system then European Union has its Galileo uh, which is in their initial deployment phase and uh, in India has a regional satellite uh, based augmentation system that is uh, GPS aided geo augmentation navigation so that is Gagan that is GPS aided uh, geo augmented navigation so that is Gagan and then and is developing IRNSS that is uh, Indian regional navigational S satellite system so these two are from India Gagan and IRNSS are from India uh, France and Japan are in the process of developing their regional navigation system so it could have been that uh, they might have already developed 
because uh, this slide is uh, say approximately one year old uh, say approximately yeah nine to ten months old so by that time if they have already completed I'm not sure I need to check on the facts so when I had prepared this they were in the process of developing the regional navigation systems <coughs> and uh, over here we can see there are various apps that are available like uh, nearby Zomato, Chatters, Google Maps then Google My Business, OLX, Quicker, Facebook various uh, various apps are there so nowadays every all the apps are using this so they will ask you allow location allow location so in that case uh, everybody wants to provide you with the accurate results so for that reason they are providing the GPS uh, activators feature wherein they will ask you to allow the location so that they can provide you the results from that particular location where you are located that is the thing that we have and then when we talk about the rules and regulations which I was just mentioned then uh, I mean you just need to follow some rules and regulations like uh, you can send it only to the people who have subscribed that is opt-in customers only uh, and you should have the unsubscribe option that is letting customers opt out then do not send uh, to unsubscribed numbers so I mean that is what people are doing nowadays even the SMS which I did not subscribe people are sending SMS and then uh, now of course uh, uh, the latest phones are having all the features wherein you can report uh, as spam like in uh, say no, it is not available in all the devices so I, I am just using uh, Lenovo in this uh, latest phone I have this feature wherein you can just tap on the details of the SMS and over there you can report and uh, block spam uh, so you can report spam and block the sender of that uh, uh, this SMS sender so then you will not get that SMS an, uh, in uh, again so uh, other devices say most of the devices are having the block function yeah, but it will not report as spam yeah even I have it but I was not aware like I, I can use it in a way I mean like yeah, just like so, you know yeah. so I can just you know put their number and I can just uh, mark it as a block uh, spam and then I won't be yes a lot of people are like yes so if, even I have not subscribed it but still I'm getting so many messages yeah so like you every, can block in every them. four minutes we go and check like what is it what is there in the yeah yeah that's how yeah so that is that is what we have so i mean uh, you can uh so i mean uh, if you have the feature for report spam and block then you can use both of them so you can check that checkbox and then you can uh, uh <coughs> I mean you can even report spam so it will go directly to the operator so if the uh, if they receive more uh, spam uh, reports uh, then they will block their uh, account and uh, they will uh, say forfeit all the account they will delete their account so that is what uh, people are doing that is the reason every day the same ad is coming from the different number or different sender ID so that is what we have so I mean then uh, say over here we have the option that uh, you should clearly disclose who you are I mean do not send messages anonymously I mean just by using a sender ID and uh, with that sender ID people will not know sender ID is like say you send a message say if it is from the bank you will know that it, it is mentioned like uh, LM HDFC or AM HDFC ICICA whatever it is so you know that okay fine this is from the bank but uh, people might write anything like BRID X uh, and uh, something like that and then they'll send it so but you do not know that what is this letter so I mean uh, F I N T E C H so I mean what is this I mean I, I do not know who is this fintech something like that so it would be like LM fintech uh, and uh, we do not know who they are uh, so for that reason over here you should clearly mention that who you are and uh, what are you selling or promoting that should be very clear and uh, if you are collecting any data then data user transfer issue should be available and uh, you should measure all the security for the uh, you should uh, have all the security for the data that is collected because uh, data privacy is very important because you know that Facebook and Google have faced a lot of problems because of privacy breach the uh, privacy and uh, data breach so that was uh, all the things so that is uh, the most important thing that we need to take care of that is just in case if you are collecting some data so that is our responsibility
and uh, over here there are there is a website wherein uh, we can just go to this website and this is uh, from government of india wherein they are telling us that what are the things that uh, we should promote and what are the things that are banned uh, from uh, this website so here this website will tell us what are the things that are banned so here this is advertising law in india part 1 wherein uh, they are telling that what are the rules of advertising standard council of india so we need to follow all these things so here there are various options that are available they are telling us about the various uh, specific laws and what are the products that are banned uh, from advertising see over here from here it is starting all the products that are banned say like tobacco human organs magical remedies uh, then uh, say services for prenatal determination of sex then infant formulas price cheat fund money circulation schemes physicians so doctors also cannot promote themselves so that is against the indian medical council so if doctors cannot um, have their websites or they cannot promote themselves i mean promoting a hospital is a different thing but uh, they cannot promote themselves so that is what we have then legal services so bar council of india also does not allow uh, a legal advisor to promote himself or his firm so that is what uh, we have so that is under the Ad uh, advocates act uh, 1961 so we know like this is what uh, restrictions are there but still people are promoting see alcohol beer wine spirits these all things are banned uh, professionals such as chartered accountants company secretaries cost accountants they cannot promote themselves you cannot promote firearms weapons ammunition food instant uh, milk food but if we talk about the food then i mean uh, there are hundreds of uh, television ads which are coming up on food so i mean who are there to going to stop them then gaming gambling uh, games of chance uh, differentiate between private sector and state lotteries so these all things are banned so here medical devices medical services nutritional supplements pharmaceuticals test and lab analysis so if you see the list is quite long i mean uh, people should know that all these things uh, cannot be promoted so of course you as a digital marketer at least should know that these are the things that uh, you you cannot promote so if tomorrow you open a digital marketing agency and if some client comes to you that okay i want to do promotion for my company so first of all you should know that what they want to promote and then you you should need to check with this list that uh, whether it is 100% legal or it is illegal to promote what your client is saying then you can directly show them this uh, page and you can say that as per government of india's rules and regulations and indian acts you cannot promote uh, all these products uh, so that is not possible at all see even celebrity endorsements are not uh, say possible i mean that is also not uh, uh, i mean uh, allowed so this is uh, what we have so this is very important that we need to know that uh, these all things are not uh, uh, allowed then uh, say we should know that sometimes we might think that we are receiving a lot of sms so first of all you should need to check uh, your dnd status that okay what is the dnd status that you have and uh, what all things have you activated so i think this website is not working from quite some time otherwise uh, this website was telling us that uh, what are the things we had subscribed we have subscribed and uh, say what are the things we have uh, uh, agreed for dnd so i am not sure whether this is uh, what we have so but uh, still there are various other websites which uh, let us know how to check uh, dnd uh, check dnd so here we have uh, dnd and over here you can see this is uh, you can enter maximum 5000 numbers so all the sms marketing companies they should put the numbers over here and they should see whether uh, a person has uh, uh, activated dnd or not but still i mean people do send so i mean we should take care of all these things so let me just enter the name number over here Uh, we can enter multiple numbers so i'll enter multiple number over here i'll put two numbers and then i'll enter this captcha and uh, then get started no not not over here check dnd okay 
so dnd registered count is 2 so both the numbers are activated for dnd so non dnd count is 0 so both of them are uh, say dnd activated so this is what we get to know over here so you can see the preferences are 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 maharashtra state and over here uh, re re uh, preferences are full full dnd and over here says uh, it is from 1 to 7 so this 1 to 7 is something that we need to know so in previous uh, this website uh, say in government's website uh, we had all those options that what is 1 what is 2 what is 3 all those options were available but now it is not available so I mean it's okay but still you know that okay fine it could be like banking then uh, professionalism then uh, say uh, say education uh, tours and travels uh, financial institutions like credit cards and policies and uh, health insurance all those things so there are various categories so then investments are there so like this uh, there are various preferences so whether uh, you are uh, registered or not so that is what uh, it is being talked over here so <clears throat> like this we can check so otherwise we should activate uh, full dnd and uh, even uh, say if uh, after activating full dnd if we are getting all those uh, spam messages we can directly go to this uh, try website uh, which i have uh, just opened over here see over here nccp try.gov.in so over here you can directly file a complaint and uh, you can tell uh, that okay these are the numbers and these are the sender IDs from where I am receiving all the SMS's and uh, I have already complained to the uh, uh, telecom operator and they haven't taken any actions uh, and uh, on these all dates I have submitted my complaint in writing to the operator so like this I mean you can just uh, tell them all the things and then they will take the action immediately so I mean these people act very fast so within a week all the problems are solved so we don't need to uh, worry on that <coughs> oh, ok one second So these are the websites where we need to, uh, we just need to see uh, that what are the things that we can do and uh, we should see what are the things that are available. So we will know that okay fine uh, we, we, we can uh, directly uh, go to this website and file a complaint. So that is what we have. So these are the websites that we can check and uh, if we talk about the career opportunities then of course uh, if you you can just go to knockery.com uh, or any any website and you can see that uh, you know what are the um, jobs available in mobile marketing so these are the live jobs which were taken from knockery.com uh, so this is like mobile uh, mobile marketing manager and uh, then mobile campaign manager we have then uh, say uh, mobile app marketing manager is there then uh, we have uh, see various other options say like manager mobile advertisement sales uh, then marketing manager mobile web and social then growth marketing manager mobile plus referrals then global production manager uh, mobile production product marketing manager so that is for automation mobile social and analytical then vice president mobile marketing demand generation marketing manager then uh, mobile marketing manager international so like this we there are various uh, app, uh, various jobs available uh, worldwide uh, and uh, these are taken from india so i mean if you just check from uh, uh, say knockery.com or monster.com or any place i mean you can just even set for uh, say google alerts for jobs and uh, you will get to know that how many jobs are available for mobile marketing which you can get it in email uh, every single day so i mean uh, this is what you can do you can set various alerts and then you yourself will get to know say like i'm getting so many emails every day for digital marketing trainer at from various uh, places various institutes in india uh, where they require online digital marketing and everything so this is what we have so i mean you can just go and check out 
so these are the various career opportunities that we have uh, in mobile marketing so i mean uh, this was uh, the basic introduction of uh, what is digital market uh, this is uh, about mobile marketing what are the things can we do and uh, all these things are available so now uh, say in the next session that is on wednesday uh, we will be starting with uh, development of uh, mobile apps how to create your own mobile app uh, that is the thing and then how to add monetization into it uh, that is what uh, we will be seeing in the next session so next session we have it on wednesday uh, one two three of so i hope that's fine with you hello hello vishal are you there hello hello sir can you hear me yes i can hear you yeah yeah i was there um, but it was like my bluetooth was not not working so next lecture would be for uh, our development for app and uh, for monetization yes, how can uh, we add monetization or yes 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 so that will be on wednesday 1 1 to 3 okay. pm <laughs> okay sir and uh, okay fine then uh, you yeah. can just uh, help me with those uh, uh, tutorials if you have uh, when i can go through those videos Uh, because you have sent me with uh, new that that time you have sent me with uh, wordpress but this is i i got to see this is something new so uh, with the help of uh, mm -hmm. those videos i can go through those plugins and there are themes like uh, which i can change and all so if you have anything you can send me that on my whatsapp uh, video so you want videos for the themes or wordpress no or for for only for wordpress not for themes only for wordpress completely oh, wordpress. okay okay so, okay okay, okay. Uh, right 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 no no problem i'll send you the links i'll share you the okay, links okay sir okay fine then see you on uh, wednesday 1 o'clock okay thank you so much sir okay yeah goodbye Bye. goodbye